Hi, welcome to Nadia Studio. Back with another illustration for the traveling book, Goes to School. We are in the same scene as we were before, uh, but at this point, uh, Dawson is now reading Twisty to the class. And uh, this is her full circle moment where she is getting appreciated. She's getting read as uh, books want to be and uh, no longer feels... Uh, less than she feels uh loved and accepted and is just being a book so i uh, love that for her and uh dawson is kind of making a full circle moment as well this wasn't initially the case but i did consider we had uh some boy who was going to be reading the book and then i can asked uh chris bates if she wanted it to be dawson to come around because he didn't really get to read twisty earlier because of the page and at least as far as we shared they simply uh didn't fully read her and uh sent her off uh to a little library and um she uh didn't get picked up again um so uh this is kind of him also getting to rejoin twisty and seeing that uh and i don't want it to be uh you know it's like uh, oh, you were one away and then a friend comes, uh, someone who rejected you before is a friend now. It's not meant to be that way. You know, it is a book, it is inanimate, so there is a different uh, relationship to that. And I hope that isn't uh, misconstrued. Um, but that they get both get to uh, now enjoy each other because they can. It, it, the idea was that there was something preventing that from happening and you can get help to get to uh something you want in this case she wants to be read like any other book and to be loved uh like any other book by children so uh this scene overall if you've seen the last uh illustration it is the same setting so i'm going with the blue walls again i'm doing the red uh bookcase and then i don't really pay attention to make sure that i have the same books same levels same colors i just i vaguely looked at some of them um, but overall, I just, uh, colored them whatever, uh, felt right. I just kind of, uh, take one color, dash it on a few books, kind of paste it out so they're not too, uh, clumped together, and then do the same for next color, and next color, and next color. Um, but so yeah, and then we have the teacher, of course, still up. The kids, I just, uh, I wanted us to still see them again, but them, uh, to be less focal. So we're just seeing their heads as they listen to the story. And the teacher is now holding Twisty, who before was on top of the bookcase, uh, because he will be getting read uh, to the class as well. And we will see that uh, in the next uh, illustration, uh, and will be getting read by the teacher to all the all the students, um, which will be a spread piece. So I did have, I think that was the last illustration I did for this uh, series. I've mentioned before that I did want to keep the uh little library spreads separate and um leave them till the end and essentially i did um i did those two and then uh this last one and i think i have to go back and do um before this one we were doing the two i was doing the two um illustrations of the teacher outside uh because i had uh overseen uh that one and i quickly needed to catch up and do that thankfully they went pretty fast and at this point i kind of had established how she looked i had done the little library before so it was pretty quick overall to do uh but yeah i think the uh i do i do like the blue colors in this uh classroom i'm really happy overall with the colors uh chosen for it and uh trying to keep things uh again like we're spring but we're indoors but so the colors have shifted away from what they were in the beginning of the book we go to pastels and this one's i want them bright but they're not pastel colors uh per se but yeah that is it overall i thank you uh for watching and do look out for the traveling book ghost school it will be coming out soon